Two years ago, I came back from volunteering in Cambodia and I found myself unable to pay rent. I guess I was one of the lucky ones. I was able to stay with friends and family, but it made me realize how easy it was to slip through the cracks. Here in Ireland, we live in a welfare state, but in countries like India, Cambodia, Kenya, etc., they don't have a welfare state and people slip and they just keep slipping and they're caught in these suffocating poverty traps. So I guess when we started Scoop, the idea was to try and just break as many of those cycles for families and children. Just a bit before uh, Andy set up the scoop, I started working in uh, social care. So we started off working with uh, older people with dementia, then I moved into juvenile detention, secure care, and then I was working with uh, young people with emotional and behavioral difficulties. Well, for the last couple of years with Scoop, I, I was always on hand to kind of help Andrew kind of fulfill his dream in helping the people of Cambodia. But when the war in Iraq and Syria uh, came to the forefront, I just knew that I had to get involved. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I used to look at the Nazis and think, if there was ever anything like the Nazis in my lifetime, that I would get up and do something about it. So I think with the Islamic State, um, there's nothing closer to the Nazis in our lifetime than those guys. So yeah, for me, it was just a no-brainer. That's when I stepped up and requested that the organization move into Syria. I guess I just fell into this type of work. It started running events and house parties when I was back in college. Uh, and then after college, I went traveling. By the time I got to Cambodia, the things that I witnessed in Cambodia really stayed with me. And I actually had no idea that it was going to change the course of my life. And then when I came back to Ireland, I just started running events. But this time it was for a small school that I came across in Cambodia. And then I guess I just got a bug. I wanted to run bigger events, get involved with different schools, different causes, different uh, countries. Uh, and I guess it just grew from there. And currently, um, there is a situation in a friend in the northwest where Turkey invaded and pushed the, the Kurdish population out of the city. So there's 350,000 people freshly displaced since March. These people are getting no support from the international community. And there's an embargo from Turkey, so nothing's getting in over the border to help these people. They're sleeping in the open air. When I went out, I guess I had 10 years healthcare experience behind me which isn't a lot to be working in a, in a crisis zone, but there was no one else there to do it. So they were delighted to have me with my, my little experience. So I came home with the knowledge of that. And um, that was when we set up the Serious Vibes campaign. We're not that much different from other nonprofits, but we're, we're very much smaller. So we get to avoid uh, the major bureaucracy that probably uh, gets in the way with getting a lot of work done around the world. Right now, it's just myself and my brother and, and a small team of volunteers. So with the crew, we wanted to set up something new and inclusive for monthly donors, where people can, you know, they can donate 20 euro or you can donate less, you can donate more, but it's gonna be transparent and people can see where their donations go. And we actually aim to send 100% of whatever donations that come through the crew to the projects. Because I think now with the various scandals that have happened with some of the charities in the past, people are very reluctant to donate and even if they do donate they're very sceptical of where the money goes, how much of it goes on admin, how much of it goes on salaries, on travel. So basically with the crew we want to send 100% of the money to those who actually need it. Over the past seven or eight years we've gotten to know so many people that really do want to get involved and really do want to be the difference that the world needs right now. So that's why we created the Scoop Crew. It's a community for our donors so they can get more and more involved. And then we want to reward our donors with events, social outings, perks, whatever we can think of. Uh, so I guess the crew is our answer to grow our organization, to get you involved and to reach more people in more countries. Members will uh, get free admission into all of our future fundraisers. In the past, we've had the likes of James Vincent McMorrow, Emmett Kerwin, The Drifter, Foil Arms and Hog, uh, Diamond Dagger, uh, Keela. Like, whatever you're into, there's pretty much something there for everybody. We understand that some can afford a little and some can afford a lot, so we actually haven't set a set amount for the Scoop Crew. Really, we just want people to get involved. It's more about people joining us, being involved month to month and being involved in the work we do. The average donation right now is around 25 euros, so that's about a pint a week for a month. So if you can donate a scoop for scoop, get involved.